Welcome to Urban Hood, your learning platform. Welcome everyone. I am Mushi Buyan. I am with uh, Urban Hood uh, Alliance. Organize. It's a nonprofit organization. Urban Hood is our one of the sister uh, sister program where we focus on education. I am again Mushi Buyan with Urban Hood. Um, Arga. Everything we are sharing, educational purpose only, please do understand that when it comes to investing in, say, in, in stock market, it's, it's involved security. And when it comes to security, you have to understand that investment risk and uh, that comes with the uh, responsibility from your end. You need to do your own due diligence. We are going to be sharing some tickers and it's all trading ideas. Hopefully with those ideas, you are going to do your own due diligence before you invest. If you lose money, Urban Hood is not responsible for your loss or any other or, uh, the platform you're using there, they will tell you the same thing. All right. Um, so you guys ready to make money this week, right? <laughs> I think earlier Abdul was saying, yes, this is going to be great, um, great week. So far it looks like, but uh, we'll see in the future looks awesome. So um, as a nonprofit organization, I just want to share with this. Uh, anybody, if you know that who needs food, please take a screenshot of this, you know, needs food, any kind of uh, help that you can think of around in, in New Jersey area, reach out with any numbers, you know, someone from our organization is gonna help them in any way, food. Um, and the other thing that I had a lot of people in private texted me in a, the, for COVID testing and stuff we have done on Friday and Saturday, use this information and there will be the, uh, some of those number. I think if you do call uh, in, a, in, in, in a, if you search for COP clinic, I shared the link also, I thought I had the link, but uh, on that website, they, you can do a registration and next week we plan to do every week. So once I have updated time frame from the doctors and the team, I'll share that in, in our Telegram and other the, the nonprofit places. So those who join with us that, you know, that, that you can go to our website, urbanhood.org, you'll see that, you know, being a member with us free or any other paid member, either way you, you join, you will get three things. You know, we all going to learn with one another education. And as we do our own research due diligence, you're going to see that, you know, we, we build that, we have that edge that gives us uh, con conviction and with the thousands of us, you know, trading together, we support one another. Together, we learn and protect our hard-earned money. So now let's get uh, talk to market. So uh, this is something I want to share with you that last week, and not in the week before last week, you know, that what happened when they were talking about uh, doing that uh, president, you know, doing uh, uh, that... Uh, with the Trump trial was going on in Senate and, and then the market was all shaky mode, you know, that, and then you say Monday till Friday, but the number you need to keep an eye on, on S&P, look at 3886. And uh, here, the purple one, S&P is the one that usually gives you index of the market, what's happened with the market overall, is it going to go high or is it going to go down, right? Now you see S&P, NASDAQ and Russell, all of them, um, indices from Monday to Thursday, Friday, these all like looked good. Again, this is not last week, week before last week, you know, happened. And, uh, so the number you see, NASDAQ was around 30, 13,000, S&P was around 3,800, <clears throat> so right there. Um, if you're not speaking, please mute your line. Uh, and look at last week, what happened? S&P touched 39,000. Oh, I'm sorry, 3,900 and almost like 4,000, what Abdul was mentioning early, early that this week, you know, uh, that you might, with current trend, you might see that uh, S&P, you might, or SPY, those who is tickering one of, the, of this ETF, you know, also, you know, you, you will we'll go over SPY, but S&P, you're going to see in SPX, that 39, 34, it might go 4,000, you also, and the NASDAQ looking for, all time, 14,000 in it is going higher. Can it go higher? Of course, with current momenta, it does look like it can go higher. Dow, everything. If you look at everything year over year, that a week, last few weeks, is keep growing. Last weekly, last week, 1%. Here is weekly, 1.3%. And this one is 1.7%. Technology did very good on last week. 
So what that uh, and that comes up with SPY. I think this uh, one, this is the one those who is uh, but going smaller portion, not the future, but smaller portion SPY indices or ETF, whichever you are going after. You can see that uh, here when I have the blue line, the the uh, thing is a pivot price to look at tomorrow or that next this week whole week that in 390. If it's stay above 390, you can see the 393, then 397. Uh, seven and then 400. These are the things that you know. You, on the upside, you might want to take a look at it. On the downside here, you said 387 uh, and then 385 and 381. It goes, you know, whichever way it is. Okay. Now the market. What's going on, on the market side? I don't know. I know most of this thing happened. You, you saw that. Uh, Big, big cap and, and other earnings already slow down. Now slowly, slowly, couple other, the good, uh, the earnings is going to come in. So Tuesday, like it's going to be CVS, you know, one of the things uh, where you are going to see that when later on Chandan comes in, he's going to do technical more analysis and his review, but I do want you just keep it in your ra radar that uh, Thursday, the city, CVS was sitting for a long time and, and they have a new, Honestly, they have the CVS, Walgreens. These are the stocks that did not move much. You might see some of the things going to happen. Retail, you know, Walmart and those are might be slowly, you know, picking it up. All right. Pal Palantir and then Zoidas, those earnings, this is whichever it is. And there will be there will be more, but I just share with a few of them. And then the other thing on economic side and Fed is going to be releasing these manufacturing surveys, some kind of survey number or something, and it's not going to do too much into the market, but it's, it's uh, those who is keeping an eye on economic factor, you might want to see that. On the Wednesday, then uh, more earnings. Earnings side, you know, here, Hilton is one of them, and Shopify and Tulio. I know many of you in the room, you, ha you are dealing with one of the uh, some of this company. So big one is Shopify. I think those who already are into it, you might see that it might even bump up more like tomorrow. People might ride it higher tomorrow, the after tomorrow until the earnings come in after the hour or before hour. Uh, we'll see the later on the chart. But a federal open part, this is uh, on the Fed side, the uh, monetary policy. This is like what happened that uh, it's going to be release that uh, mini meeting minutes, but it's not going to make a huge difference to the market. But um, you can keep an eye on this. And on here, Bureau of Labor Indexes are coming at some point. It's looking at 4.4 uh, month over month rise is looking. So they are going to release some number. So you might say, uh, see that on Wednesday. If uh, especially on after after market, if something happens, it may be just an unemployment number and so on. And it's a little, small minor hiccup, but it don't make a huge difference to the market. But look at on Thursday, Marriott earnings, Roku one a big one that uh, many Roku fan we have in our platform, Walmart, Roku, Walmart, and West Management. If this is something that you are not trading. Keep an eye on uh, on this one. This is um, I, I know the last time also and it did well. So this uh, their earnings is coming. It doesn't you know, Corona or non Corona either one it fall within that category. Census Bureau and Friday whatever I said dear I mean here is on the on, on the economic side there isn't anything that you know uh, that ha it's going to make a huge difference to the market but you can. Take a look at it. I highlighted something yellow for you uh, to make it easy for you to read. On Friday, this is uh, the home home industry. Their their earnings are coming, and are, they're going to share. And what else? And the PMI data. This is a uh, this is something that you might want to look into. See if uh, in 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 house or import export. Uh, how's that happening? And is this improving or not? You know. This one is a week before last week. What happened? You can see that in, uh, on the uh, the sector side, what we are seeing every week, every, uh, week on the uh, week of two thousand two seven, previous week we saw oil, gas, and uh, 
financial technology if you look at it industrial all all these are pretty much green on that egg that's two weeks before okay now pretty much in a healthcare all one all the sectors was green but la- look at last week what happened last week uh, especially technology but last week consumer telecommunication utilities a little bit slow down okay so this is always the case it's going to happen every week you won't see the same everything goes down and we know that money gets shuffled from one sector to another sector and recently what we are seeing this especially on on the energy side some of the power utilities is is to slow down and it goes very constantly is growing so keep an eye on this uh, on, on some of these stuff, you know, if you are into it or find, if you see that, you know, a, a stock you like, you might want to uh, consider getting into. When uh, good, that, uh, Chandan comes in and then I'll, 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 Chandan, let me know when you're ready. But, you know, while he's here, that I want to share one of the things that uh, Facebook, those who is looking and on the Facebook side, looking at this, there is an article came in, investor, Business of Delhi that is talking about Facebook users uh, and uh, how it's growing. If you compare Facebook, compare all these data matrices, last few quarters, yeah, the daily users and everything is, is there doing very well, but their stock is not responding comparing all the other big cap that where you see that uh, Google, Apple, they are doing very well, right? So when things like this, and how do you manage this? And, and, and as far as investing, those who is looking at long, something like long-term, at the same time looking at this a good stock to invest, you might consider keeping Facebook part of your portfolio. If it dips for long-term, still it, it will it'll do well. And uh, for short-term also, you'll see that Facebook book is going to do well, okay? Next, um, in the, a couple of ETF that, you know, we are about, I was surprised to see that when on, on uh, IBD, when it was talking about ET, ETF, you see that uh, these ETFs, symbol POTX, CNBS, print, you know, these, look at the growth it has year over year, 189%, 128%, 52%, right? These are, um, if you have not keeping that in your radar, just keep that in your radar and look at, uh, compare that with S- S&P, 4%. S&P in the 4% year over year. So if those who is, who is just going ETF and, and many of you private tech should me, ask me, you know, I don't do stock, I do this ETF. You might want to consider looking at some of this ETF here, okay? And the moon, you say that, and any of those, you can take a screenshot uh, or later on, I'll share this recording also in our, uh, the, 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 the online, I get thing here on, on a YouTube channel, then you, you, you can see that later on too. So another is, is stock, I was, I, I, as I was studying and I saw, I saw this PLTK, it's like a new gaming. I know that in the gaming industry, a lot of stock is out there. But it, this stock just intrigued me and, and that I do, I'm looking at it. It just came, came in the market. Let's see now how they do, but they're, uh, this, uh, their analysts raving about this, uh, this, this PLTK, Platika Holdings. Okay, that's something you might want to keep an eye on. And then uh, this like world, the top list, 10 of the stocks that like last two weeks, it just moved worldwide stocks then uh, some of you you may have some and others have it but i know i have some of this in my portfolio when i saw that i thought you know somebody can benefit from it but i was surprised to see fiber i didn't fiber is israel kind of is the stock i thought it's always for a u.s based uh, company but i guess fiber you know those who already has it we saw that this one is growing so fast uh, even in covid before covid it did very well and then Baidu is something that earnings are coming up in you know, this coming coming week. Baidu, you see that Baidu is on the list. TSM is on the list. I know, I know many of you kind of have other stocks also in the list. Um, that's then what I wanted to first share a few more tickers. 
But if any of you have any questions so far, what I covered, yeah, you can now unmute yourself, ask, and then I'll go to the next step. Okay. Anyone else want to share a few things? So what about AMC? Will it come back or no? <laughs> what about AMC? Uh -huh. Abdul, you want to take, take, a, take a stab at it? Um, not trading it. <laughs> we're, not, we're, we're not trading any of the FOMO stocks. Whoever's bought it, most of them have lost money. It's, um, the company has no valuation at, at the current rates that it's at right now. It may go up a little bit, but... You know, as all these Reddit guys are pushing it, uh, you know, last week, same thing happened with all the cannabis stocks. So not trading it, can't give any advice on it whatsoever. Thank and, you. Uh, any MC thoughts on in the last one year? So, uh, I'm sorry, what, Manzur? I was just saying that just think in common sense terms, AMC's revenue, because AMC is closed down for almost one year. How it comes <laughs> on, how it pop up, I don't know. I don't want to make any further comments. Yeah, so the... Exactly right. You know, we are not uh, here, guys, you know, whoever is asking that, you know, please consider that you are here for long term. And I hope you, know, you didn't get in when, whenever everyone was talking about it is 400 and then 450, it can keep going higher. It doesn't make sense. If, uh, if, if people have access to our free uh, UFA uh, Telegram, I posted an article today about on uh, Reddit or is... Um, Stock uh, game, how someone lost, you know, a size of amount of money that he had borrowed. Mm -hmm. so be careful. What do you think about the workhorse? Is it a good time to sell or good time to retain for another year? He would have sold it when he went to almost 40. He was at 40 last week. Yeah. So it's, it's pulled back. Um, I mean, yeah. all the you just, EV stocks are hot, but this is pulled back. Um, I, it, I mean, I'm, I'm holding it. I have it in my portfolio. So, if you, want to have it, you can also sell covered calls on it and get the premiums very good. Awesome. Thank you. And what do you think about NEO? Is it a good time to continue NEO? Wish you your. Uh, okay, let me, uh, let me open NEO and, and you guys see my desktop. We're now, we are the one we can. Uh, Vic, let me know when Chantan is here. And then is here. Uh, I'm, I'm here, Mushi. I'm almost ready. Just give me. A okay. Yeah. Um. So while you are ready, let me share my desktop, and then you guys can see what's happening with the Neo. You see my desktop, right? Yes. So what you are looking at this Neo trend, and then what's happening with the Neo? You see that Neo is like at some point it touched 63. Now is Neo is is slowly is coming down. Patterns as also all the technical. Currently, this technical saying next few days, you know, Neo is just downtrending, but doesn't mean that you know it can turn out turn around. But at this moment, Neo is more bearish than bullish. Okay. On the upside, if you say Neo is like you say that you know, it can touch it, it can 65, 60, it's going to be bullish. But else, Neo can see that it can come back to around 57. All right. Yeah, I'm ready, Mushi. Yeah. Go ahead, uh, Chandan. Let me see. I did not steal the thunder, Chandan. I left all the good stuff for you and uh, for earnings. Yeah. Because I know you have good. Can I ask for the last question? Oh yeah, you of course you know you, you can just get let him cover this, and after that you know if you do not mind, uh, I just hold 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 your thought. You can type your question, and then and and we'll see if we can. Even share, uh, yeah. Yeah, are you able to see the earnings screen? Uh, yes, we can. Yeah, okay, great. Uh, welcome, friends. Uh, we have another power pack a week with uh, some good earnings coming up. Uh, so starting on Tuesday morning, this is already a done deal. Not much to talk, but uh, as you know, Pantry is a high expectation one. There was a lockup expiry as well that happens tomorrow. So. Uh, don't expect something to fly. I'm not personally expecting because a lot of people want to take advantage of lockup expiry. So that's the news with Palantir. Uh, CVS Health is a good buy in the dip stock. Uh, sometimes it does fall after earnings. Uh, it pays a very good dividend. Uh, it's a healthy dividend and 
they did merge with another healthcare company so uh, this is a good one to have in your portfolio for diversification and uh, dividend paying company uh, that's with cvs going after tuesday uh, we have a lot like ring central this is a very good company there it's kind of a growth stock this has been doing very good uh, so it usually stays around the price where it is after the earnings uh, but uh, i'm i'm kind of bullish on this one in general uh, th- this is a good one to uh, invest in uh, with all the uh, uh, chandan yes i have I, i know that you are good, good at with your think or swim how did uh, the palantir uh, palantir did last uh, in last quarter uh, last quarter uh, after their qa uh, earning did it go up or down do you yeah, have the chair in a think or swim because you know yeah yeah I'll, I'll, some people yeah, uh, could yeah. at least yeah. ben- benefit from it you know on a garage yeah, yeah one second you are good at you know showing that you know comparing the analysis look last quarter this happened yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. okay and especially i know when it comes to walmart people are going to <laughs> want to see that walmart data but you know keep an eye on that walmart thing um uh thank you um uh, todd sharing that uh the telegram group some people private texted if we can and uh, share that whatsapp group our whatsapp is all the room whatsapp is full but we are more active in telegram so it's like you know whatsapp maxed out so during the day all, we are only active in in telegram so yeah if you are not um, joining telegram please join that link is there Yeah so one second let me okay. share So uh Wal Chandan uh, okay yeah. yeah he's already called quick Okay you're able to see my screen right Yes yeah so last time after the earnings if you see there was a big dip after the earnings uh, for Palantir the main news with Palantir right now is not about most not more about earnings it's more about lock up expiry so it's it's hovering around the 21 day moving average and uh, i'm hoping it will come at least to the 50 day moving average because uh, there is a lock up expiry coming up so that's the main thing so even if they have stellar earnings we are not sure what will happen so if you see the recent sell off that happened uh, that is because a lot of people were kind of bearish going into the earnings with lock up expiry coming that's why you see this three marching soldiers uh, following the moving average uh that's the thing with palantir uh, so okay. this is a daily graph yes it is a daily graph yeah okay thank you yeah all right uh, so i was talking about ring central ring central so that one we already covered so solar edge uh, this is a it's a very good with biden play it's kind of considered as a, a, a biden play uh one second i forgot sc so So this is a, it's going high and high a lot uh, like you know uh, recently if you see it it's uh, hovering on right now at this one so uh, after the biden it keep going high it went all the way to 377 uh, that is still in the cards uh, so this was kind of a biden play kind of a stock so regardless of earnings i'm uh, it's kind of a very bullish uh, one to keep an eye on uh, so that's the one with solar edge uh going into a uh, tuesday wednesday the biggest one we have is shopify uh so I'm not sure how many people have seen shopify had a big gap up uh, you know recently they had a news that they were integrating with other companies and it had a huge gap up uh you see this had a huge gap up and the, right now it's had a doji so even though we have the earnings so don't expect like this will fly like 100 dollars or something like that Uh, so i'm looking at a market maker move for shopify for uh, how much uh, on second so looking around like 100 dollar move uh, that's the expected move at least for shopify so it can move either way so because it's a it's a huge stock with more than 1000 bucks so anything can happen so last time in last quarter shopify gave a stellar earnings but the stock still fell down if you see this one the earnings was really good but the stock did fell after the earnings so the same can happen right now but going into the earnings until tuesday with the doji being forming i'm kind of bullish going into wednesday but after wednesday uh, after the earnings anything can, can happen because last time as i mentioned even though they gave a very good earnings the stock did fall this kind of uh, you know uh, the bullishness it is going on top of the bullinger pant 
there there is going to be a healthy pullback and that is considered as a good healthy uh, you know as a fallback all right uh, the other one the good one to watch here is hilton worldwide right now with economy reopen coming up if they give good guidance uh, Uh, this is a it's a good one this is kind of similar to wind resorts uh, it's so you can have a sympathy play on wind resorts as well uh, so that's the uh, that's uh, that's a good one to keep an eye as well uh, going into when yeah, yeah. chandan if i can add uh, just guys and i just read an article also about hilton and the economy i think all of you are hearing that biden administration mentioned that by end of uh, april they think that you know all people are going to have all the shot down and then they already last week they signed up another 200 million of well, vaccine so with that now airlines and those that industry who did not grow much slowly you might see that they're coming coming back up so if you are looking up for a deal how to get in hilton has a good a strong fundamental you might consider or uh, if it goes down even deep for any reason you might consider try to take advantage of it back to you yeah sure so going after it went uh, after hours on wednesday fastly so not sure how many people aware, saw like fastly fell very much last week because it had a sympathy play with net so the net fell after earnings so net also had did a good earning but if you see this big red candle it did fell after earnings so that's why even fastly had the same effect of sympathy play so the same thing can happen or it can reverse but it's right now hovering at the 50 day moving average uh, so it's at a crucial support if it loses this support uh, then uh, uh, the next you look at is the 100 day moving average or the lower part of the bullinger band at least uh, so uh, it's going to have a sympathy play same as uh, net a uh, twillo uh, very bullish on twillo so twillo uh, is, is massively growing their business has a lot of uh, momentum they they're going into subscriber based business so the numbers are going to be really good uh, so i'm very bullish on this and i'm expecting it will fly uh, after earnings as well uh, baidu uh, is, baidu had a lot of momentum in last few weeks like last couple of months from january with the news on ev and other things uh so this is a good one to keep uh, you know watch as well so sun power recently this was a short squeeze candidate uh, just like all the people were playing with amc game stock this was another short squeeze candidate so anything can happen with this one after earnings so if the short squeeze happens this can fly or the people can dump so but this is a short squeeze candidate uh, you just want to be aware of this one stamps.com uh, recently this was kind of a covid stock uh, but uh, it's a, it's a very good company and uh, their business model is working out well a lot of co- business are using this one so this is a good one to keep an eye as well uh, energy transfer this is a very good dividend stock so when we did the oil and gas paper we also mentioned about the stock they pay around like 15% dividend uh, which is really good and they are market leaders in the pipeline gas industry so this is a good one to watch and add to your portfolio as well this is a very long term play so it it pays you good dividend and uh, you should look for appreciation down the line so this is not like you're not going to get like 10 20% returns in one week one month rather you will get 15% stable dividend so during the whole covid they never reduced their dividend so you can tell that's a good company to have in the list so that's with et going on to thursday morning walmart walmart was beaten up badly recently there's so many things uh, it did not had a good run so it it was kind of hovering and it went to around 200 200 day moving average came back and it is holding right now at uh, uh, 50 day moving average this stock usually doesn't move a lot after running so it's not going to work out like you can buy calls before earnings here. so probably it will move like 2% 3% that's the max so if you see the market maker move for walmart we are only expecting $4 so look at like what for 144 dollar stock five dollar move is very small so that's how it is normally every time during the earnings fvrr this has been lot of momentum recently so if anybody knows why this uh, had a massive run 
it was heavily upgraded by so many different jp morgan goldman sachs a lot of uh, uh, analysts upgraded this and it had a huge run recently uh, their business model is kind of unique and if you can see it ran from 206 to 323 in no time like we're, t- we're talking about less than two weeks it made almost like how much like more than 50, you know like 40 50 percent from 200 to uh, you know 323 so this is a very good company in general in long term this is kind of a uh, like you know like similar to zoom uh, even after post covid uh, they sell like you can sell your work you can hire freelancers so this is a very healthy company uh, to go on long term basis yeah but post year we can expect a pullback on fear right i mean like yeah. it, it, it is completely priced in yes so you you're right you expect to pull back our if those who who is not in in fire fiber don't get in now it's too yes. high price yes so what, if you see there the pull back yeah so after last earnings it had a pull back right uh, yeah after like even this earning there was not a much momentum so everything is baked in right now Uh, yeah, so, I think we can enter once we have a pullback uh, on yes. on earnings day or or on the next yes next yes. few days. Yep. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, Marriott, it's same thing as Hilton. Not much to tell about that. Uh, uh, then the First Energy will have the same play as uh, Sun Power and Solar Edge. These are kind of uh, like you know energy stocks. Uh, the biggest one after earnings on Tuesday is TTD. so ttd has been consolidating for very long time this was a $1000 stock and it was beaten up to 760 and it held that support uh, around 721 and it's right now at 864 so this is a very good company to invest in so $1000 is still in cards they bet massive earnings last time it had a huge gap up if you see it was at 656 on before earnings day and next day it went all the way to 855 no kidding this is a really capable one i miss the boat uh, all this one uh, you know and i'm looking to see if i can do some kind of earnings play on this one so very bullish on ttd so this is a good one to keep an eye on roku as well is a highly uh, you know a high expected company like less lot of expectations on this one they bet earnings back on back every quarter they've been doing good so this is another good one to keep an eye watch on so big c big c was beaten up for a while then it had a strong reversal uh, with lot of upgrades being done so this is a good one to invest as well so if you see it was beaten up badly and then it started coming up now it's holding the 50 day moving average so it, it it's 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 a good one as well so it's a competitor for lot of uh, car, you know it's like a competitor for shopify so if you if you can't afford shopify you can still buy big c uh, appn uh, this is also a very good one this has a high beta so this will run very hard uh, so if you see appn it took so many times reversals and uh, it runs very hard uh, so if you see the kind of healthy stock it is so it, it usually moves uh, through the er and it goes all the way like you know all time highs and it keeps breaking its all time high so that is also a very good one to keep an eye on a arista networks this is a very good company they, this company doesn't has any debt and they are in the same business as palo alto networks uh, and other competitors uh, they've been doing good uh, they recently last time it bet earnings and r- stock ran crazily uh, like almost like uh, 70 80 points for a 200 dollar stock so this is also a very good one to watch uh, i think we covered all the good ones mushi yeah yep. thank you ar can you do to this two ticker i know that you'll do good and then i'll take over yeah. oc ocgn with your um, think or swim what do you see yeah OC- these are all pump and dump stocks mushi yeah. like i know good. that's why i wanted you uh, folks you know to yeah, see I- your ocgn another one tesla yeah look at this one what what, what do you expect out of this like <laughs> you know so this is all like fomo like hey somebody made 10000 on this i also want to make it's like that so long story short uh, it has a it has to hold this right now the support it is right now at uh, 1026 it had an inside day right now so it still looks healthy 
so if somebody wants to try their luck uh, you can still try your luck uh, that is still possible uh, for a gap up so i'm saying it, it's still bullish there's a, it's a it's a news based stock i don't know what's the news is but uh, uh, right now it still looks bullish uh, so far technically that's all okay tesla had a very uh, you know bad uh, days uh, in last few days several reasons for this uh, some people were not happy with the bitcoin investment other thing is there's a lot of competition right now uh, neo is trying to launch in us uh, there's a lot of other fsr there's so many lucid lucid uh, merger might be get open so there's so many reasons why tesla is taking a hit but end of the day still tesla is the market leader in this industry and the kind of fans tesla has it's going nowhere so long story short uh, uh, it has to held this level right now and it has to at least do 850 868 in next couple of weeks and uh, it has to break its all time high and it will eventually do that so tesla has this nature like if you see here it will consolidate for long time then it will boom it will go up then it will consolidate here for a long time boom it will go up so it has the same pattern if you see it has been consolidating here then it went boom then it consolidated for a while boom so that same pattern is happening right now so some people might be fearful i myself i got in here and i'm kind of stuck right now with uh, some calls but uh, i i might have to roll over them to a longer date uh, or i have to see what we have to do but it's right now consolidating you know here and there uh, but it will definitely have its run so elon musk is kind of a guy who will not be quiet right you all know that right so he will do something in twitter or something news will come it already had a good news they the numbers in china were doubled so that is already there so we are just looking to see uh, you know when the stock will start having run once it will start having run you will not able to catch it it will run too hard uh, in no time uh, so i have a question so while it's consolidating now would it be a good time to get in get back in um and buying it on the dip yeah so around 800 is a good good price to buy under, under 800 it dips yeah, below 800, 800. 800. Yeah. yes it if it dips below 800 cent it's a good price to get in okay cuz last week it it, it it did and i got, did. I got in yeah yeah yep and uh, Chandan, can you have a look on net? Because uh, after uh, earnings, it fell down to eighty-five. It is holding up that range. Yes, we uh, did discuss right. It had a good earnings, but be- because if we see before earnings, it had a crazy run. Yeah, before, yeah. It was battling at seventy-four, uh, and again eighty-four, yeah. and again went to ninety-five. Yeah, it's kind of taking revulsion right now. This is kind of a doji that is forming on a daily. So let's see in the short term time frame. See, it already took this uh, as the support, and it's kind of reversed. So it's trying to bounce back. So again, I see a Doji in four hours. So it's kind of, kind of trying to bounce back, and uh, it can definitely do ninety-five for sure. That is still in the cards. Okay. 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 Thank you, Chandan. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Chandan. I think uh, the the folks I know you are putting a lot of tickers, but let me share some more. and then i during the day uh, join that uh, the telegram uh, that the, we will will definitely give you some some of the things but i know that we have different audience different folks you know um, we want to cover the content fast for with you guys so some of the things i'm going to give it to you so um, take a look at it bearish uh, at see uh, i'm watching putting it there that way you can see it you know, the chart i want go it but if you look at the chart it does look like an atc atc is come down come down the price to look into 233 if it does come down below you are going to see 222 and then it can come down you know for below 200 so keep an eye on atc it just um getting ready to come down atc this week the jpm the in in financials look at the jpm straight here so it's ready to come down if it does you'll see that the next the price 141 to look into it and then those you know who in the morning and then when i put the share ticker that people price that's what it, it, the price to look into for 137 if it does cannot hold then it can go to 35 
Spotify. So some of this stuff, you know, what we do, we run that scanners like, you know, every weekend that in NASDAQ and you know, that uh, as a NASDAQ, DAO and ARCA. So it, there is total of about 16,000 ticker it goes through. And from there, based on the technical, like strictly based on the technical four hour chart, see if they are up trending or down trending. So based on that, what we see that these are, the, some of them are very high, it can go, uh, come down. But look at Spotify, is, if you look at it, you know, not too long ago, 367, now it's sitting 339 range. So uh, the, this week, it, if you, you, the price to keep an eye on this, you know, if you cannot, you know, it's 339, it can come down to 320 and then below, all right? Spot is one of the things, and we see that happening. And then uh, those XLK, that ETF, S&P sector SPDR, look at SLK, same thing, it's, it's, uh, the price is like 138 you know, the, to look at, but you might uh, see if it pull back, that uh, some of this stuff, you know, we see that in overbought area, so those who, who is following the ticker in Scott, Scott Austin, you know, the, uh, there, but here you can see 138 and then come down, 135 and, and so on. So LK is one of them. Is there and BBY, uh, did it do Best Buy? Same thing. So we are seeing the Best Buy and it went high and then uh, it can pull back. So it's a 120 range. That in, if it can, you see that uh, so those indicator or BWAP or whatever you are doing it is it's high, you'll see that the sellout is happening on Best Buy. And uh, the, 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 that's trend is, is there, but doesn't mean that it's not going to happen, but it's, it's, it's good to keep an eye on that. And lastly, on the bear side, ORCL, I have Oracle. You see that on, on the Oracle side, also same thing, and it's, it's coming down, and, and then and, uh, 63, it can come, come down to next, you know, 61, and, and so on, and 50, below 60. Now the bullish side, few few tickers I have that you guys wanna take a look at it. AMT, financial services. It does look like you know it can go up twenty dollars above that you know is, is it was hovering. If you see that last two, last two week it, it it came down but it stayed above to twenty range. You see that is there and that's red red uh, line that is stayed that is stayed within this red and this channel. Okay, so this is something that you know this you might see that it is 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 going up. AMT and costs Costco. You see Costco is say on here. You see it's, it's coming down. It's ready to to it got beaten up. Costco is sitting for a while. This is slowing. They're getting ready to come back up, but uh, three fifty two is the price. If it is still there, then you're going to say 360 and above, Costco can go higher, okay? And Costco, we know that, you know, that just like Walmart and a couple others, it did not grow much, you know, since COVID. It's just hang on, hang on to it. They had a good earnings and so some good news, but this stock is just lagging, not sitting there, but it's getting ready to go higher. So you might want to keep an eye on that one. And uh, two more, I'm going to do Tilray. I know there are people who has a Tilray and then you know, what's going to happen with Tilray, but look at the Tilray, it's a pullback like a big time from here, it came down, but it's getting ready to come back up again, all right? So price to look at 29, and if it can stay above 29, then it can go higher. Oh, and did you update after Bala? Bala, uh, like... Yeah, please, if you're not speaking, please mute your line until Ray and the last one is uh, two of them actually. I'm going to Clorox, CLX, Clorox. Look at this Clorox. This is also another company. It's got beaten up long and sitting there. You see, it's almost like, you know, it's sitting over both zone area. So it's ready to come back up. You're going to see that slowly it come back, you know, the price to look at 185. 185 is the one, just keep an eye on this, all right? 
So there's something this is getting really when it goes up, it's going to push hard. You see that it was 230 and, and above, it can go in you know, a 240, that range, but it's ready to come back up. And this is uh, has not <laughs> when at some point we heard that you know Trump and uh, when he, Trump was in in uh, White House, he talked about this, it went high, very high. But you know, it is a stock that you know it, it, it will it may turn around and survey monkey is BMK. That's the last one. You see that um, with, with the survey monkeys and, and here it's sitting there, it, it is ready to come back up, but you know, the price to look into 23. And if it stay above this 26 zone, then you are going to see that it's coming around, around 27, 30 and, and then further, okay? So hopefully that gives you some idea and then slowly, slowly we'll try to add some more in future. I know that there are people private texted us and wanted to know more about ETF. So in future, we'll be adding some more ETF that uh, uh, you can uh, consider buying. Thanks for watching. Visit our website, urbanhood.org and join our community at meetup.com and look for financial freedom for you. Thank you, and we hope to see you soon.